Hello, McWarriors. I was watching a friend's match today. Damn you, Chip. And um, he's got a great channel. And uh, he's uh, linked in my description. And I, I got to just try this, this Mac. I got to at least look at it. No, I'm not talking about this guy. I love this guy. But this was a crusader I saw that I think he's running it wrong and I could run it better. But, of course, when I mean I'm going to run it better, I'm going to run it with more missiles or different missiles. But at any rate, uh, Chipwit uh, had a crusader. And I want to see if I can find it. I think it's this guy. Yes. Yes, it is this guy. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, six missile points. And it's on sale. I'm going to buy this on principle. I don't even know if I'm going to like it. And I'll find out if it's got any cool quirks. And in honor of you, Chip, I'll name it after you. For now, anyways. Uh, there's my cute little mech that does really good damage. And we're going to go to heavy. And we're going to look at inner sphere. And, <laughs> yeah, it comes up as a Fafnir. Isn't that funny? That is so strange. It doesn't look like a Fafnir. It certainly doesn't look like a Fafnir here either. Let's go into the mech bay. So what has this thing got? Ooh, comes standard with two LRM uh, 15s. And two SRM-6s, two machine guns, and two medium lasers on a standard engine. And it's got a top speed of 69.7, a heat management of 1.21, which is not terrible, and a firepower of 75, which is admirable, actually. What can we do this different to make this better? Well, it's got standard armor, standard uh, heat sinks, and... Uh, standard structure. Hmm. This thing needs an overhaul. Let's see what else it's got. Quirks. Ballistic cooldown. Minus 10%. LRM velocity. Plus 20%. Oh my god. Cooldown. Minus 10%. Inner spear machine gun rate of fire. Plus 100%. Wow. Now, that always wonders me. Is that just machine gun, or is that light machine gun, or heavy machine gun? I don't know. Uh, energy cooldown, minus 10%. Missile HSL, plus 1. That means you can add an extra one. And heat, minus 10%. And then for survival, center torso, plus 10. Left and right torso, plus 10. Left and right leg, plus 10. Uh, left and right arm, plus 15. Mech top speed plus 7.5%. Wow. Well, let's edit. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to strip all these toys off of this and make this into something useful. I'm going to start off with the biggest motor it's got. That is a lot of motor. Go with a light. And we're going to max out on the armor that's how we do so this video is called the crusader 3r Ooh, that is a lot of armor in the rear i'll probably bring this down to three once i've got some skills on it oh, not yet and boy that's all there is wow 55 on the arm i'm sure when i uh start bringing this thing up it'll uh get better so there we are. We're good on the armors and everything. And we've got an engine. And where, where are we sitting at as far as tonnage? 43.2. That's with 65 max. So that's not a lot. So let's go with Indo. And we'll go with Light just to, to start. And the heat management right now is really good. Um, yeah, so we're going to take this and we're going to do... LRM 10s. I want to see if I can do it. Because I know 6 LRM 10s on my uh, longbow is heavenly. 
I don't think I can do it on this. I think I, what I can do is I can go with four LRM 10s and two LRM 5s. Maybe. Oh, that's, that's really lean. I might have to strip this motor down a little bit. Where are we? Oh, 84. That's really fast. I don't need to go that fast. Um, but 70 would be nice. Now, what's the difference between 70 and this? So right now we're sitting at 56.5. And that's only half a ton. Ooh, that cost me a ton. I'm going to go to that. 72.3 is more than fast enough. So now I've got some tonnage to work with. I've got two LRM5s two and four LRM10s, and I've got some leftover on here. And the heat management is sitting at 1.3. What happens when I go to double heat sinks? 1.44. Wow. That got really good. And now I can do two medium expulse lasers, maybe. Or what can I get out of this? Can I go ferro? I can, but it's going to cost me. I need to get ammo on board. So I need six tons of ammo. I'm going to have to take that light ferro off. I can see that already. I'll bring that down to light ferro. That gives me almost my tonnage. I think what I should do is go with this weighs these together weigh five tons or ten tons. I don't gain anything by doing LRM twenty. In fact I lose because the cooldown changes from four point from three point seven to four point three. I think that's right. Yeah. And of course, it's got its own cooldowns, but we're just going to go with the round numbers right now. So I'm going to go with four LRM fives and two LRM tens. And this is um, this is actually a very similar build that I have on my Dervish. And so this way, I can go with uh, two medium X pulse lasers, which is almost exactly what my Dervish is. And this gives me six tons of ammo. And I've got my primary weapons, which are the missiles. And this, I feel like I'm missing something. <clears throat> I think I should go down on the motor a little bit. Where do I start getting into a heat issue? There it is, right there. So if I go down to a 250, this is 59.5. That's a half a ton. And what am I gaining? I've got a speed of 68.3. I'm gaining almost one and a half miles an hour or one and a half kilometers an hour just by adding half a ton. So that's just really hard to pass up. But what does it cost me? 60 versus 15, it's still a half a ton. <clears throat> so that's not bad at all. So now I have a heat management of 0.96, which is not great. But I have double heat sinks on board, so I can add this. I don't care about the machine guns. I really don't. But I just wanted to see if this is possible. So this is very plausible. And now if I want to, I can add the machine guns. So I just want to see if you can add the hit machine gun and then get that crazy um, <clears throat> rate of fire. It doesn't have anything about the rate of fire here. So I'm wondering if it's only the machine gun that you get that. Well, it doesn't say anything about this doesn't say anything about the rate of fire so I have to assume it has to do with the heavy machine gun as well so I'll put the heavy machine guns on board and then I've got just one slot left over to add 
um, a ton of ammo. Boom. And monkey's your uncle. Now these heavy lasers here have a range of 270. Is there any benefit to going with What's the range? Optimum range is 130. Light range. Optimum range is 360. So at least I want to be able to do the same range, I think, as my lasers that I'm going to probably be firing with them. So change out the ammo to the light machine gun ammo. And I have a heat management right now of 1.01, .01, which is more than enough. If I take this off, what can I gain by this? Not much. If I move this down into other places, I'm going to lose all the spaces I need in order to add the advanced sensor package. On the other hand, if I put the machine gun ammo someplace else, you know, I can actually probably put this here and because that's probably more than enough ammo. This is so fun. Building is absolutely my favorite part of this game. Hands down. Building is my favorite part of this game. So now I've got the advanced sensor package on here. I've got machine guns. I've got medium X-Pulse lasers on board. And I've got the equivalent of an LRM-20. Uh, but I've got the or LRM-40, but I got the cooldown to go with it. And I still have extra armor available, or weight, that I can fill up. Right there. So now I've got a slightly better motor, 72.3. I've got a decent firepower. Heat management is not terrible considering I got medium X-Pulse lasers on board, and they do pr produce a lot of heat. And let's just go ahead and pay for all this stuff. And let's paint up this thing, make it pretty. Is there anything I own? No. We'll just pick some colors, actually pick some colors. We'll go with white and red and black and see what stands out. One shot. Actually, what is the uh, unlock right now? That's only for this mech though. Bummer. Ugh, that's just raunchy. That's not so bad. That's rather interesting. Yeah, that m reminds me of Def Leppard for some reason. That's interesting. That's not bad. That's also not bad. Wow, oh, that's kind of cool looking. Yeah, but I'd want both of these to be red. That's kind of weird for me. That's not terrible. Ooh. Yeah, that looks good. That's a lot better than that, that's for sure. What's that? Ooh. Oh, I'm digging this. The gold on there? Oh, absolutely. And let's go with colors. This is the original colors that come with this pattern.
I am digging this. That is sick. On the other hand, go with that, and then maybe go with that to go with it. It looks like even more gold. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, this is it right here. This is the paint job. For me, this screams Battletech. Weapon layouts. You know, you could go, I could go three, uh, SRM 6s on this too. That might also be fun. And then go with, yeah, that and that and that. So I got similar ranges. I like how they put the missiles in the arms right there, too. That's cool. That's really cool. I've always thought this looks like it was on heels. And now let's go to the cockpit. Owned. Oh, I don't have any more zombie max. Bummer. I can't put a clan wolf mug on there. I can do the knife, though. That's cool. Uh, too bad the trash can's on my timber wolf. Tablet? That's distracting. That's worse. Steel spider. Steel leg. Or asp. It's not a bobblehead, but it's as close as I'm going to get. I'm not a huge fan of hanging things, but I'm going with the claw. The claw. That works. Sorry, Chip. There we go. It was it was his great video. He he actually had a pretty good match. I mean he's obviously a good player, so yeah. Yeah, so this is my build of this guy. God, I fucking love this paint job. I'm gonna get this picture framed. Uh, just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And uh, I know a lot of people are thinking, dude, why did you go with LRM5s? It's pointless. It's just terrible. And I'll show you why. Uh, let me see here. Terminal and Desert. My go-to. I'll show you why. Because the cooldown on these things are nuts. The cooldown, so you fire them in uh, uh, cycle it, or you can fire them in alpha strikes, um, and you can have some really Target amazing acquired. damage output. And the cooldown is amazing too. And see how they start cycling? They automatically start cycling. That's the bonus. Or you can cycle them, no target which is what I'll probably quiet. end up doing. Now if you 
wait and just let them fire at their own pace. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely digging that. Target destroyed. 